causes of irreversibility irreversible processes are undesirable but they always happen around us so what is the reason for this irreversibility friction unrestrained expansion heat transfer through a finite temperature difference mixing of two fluid plastic deformation of solids etc can be stated as the causes for irreversibility friction friction is the resistance to motion when two solids in contact has relative motion between them consider a piston cylinder arrangement when piston move inside to the cylinder a friction force develops at the interface this friction force opposes the motion so some extra work is needed to overcome this frictional force this work supplied is eventually converted to heat energy at the interface and the interface heats up when the motion of the piston is reversed the body are restored to their initial position but neither the interface cools down nor the heat released converted back to work instead interface heats up again due to the frictional resistance to the upward motion of the piston so if a process involves friction it is a reversible process free expansion free expansion is an irreversible process if it is reversible process it violates kelvin planck statement of second law consider an insulated container it is divided into two partitions a and b by a membrane a is filled with a gas at pressure p the compartment b is a vacuum when we remove the membrane the gas flows from a to b and fills the entire container this is free expansion process now let us assume this expansion is done through a engine connected to the compartment a and b the gas expands through the engine thereby producing the work on engine according to the first law the internal energy of gas decreases then we remove the engine now to return the gas to the initial state we have to increase the internal energy of gas we heat the gas thereby increasing the internal energy to the initial value now what did happen the system produced some work w by interacting with only one thermal energy reservoir this is a clear violation of kelvin planck statement of second law so free expansion is irreversible heat transfer through finite temperature difference consider the example of hot tea losing the heat to the surrounding the reverse direction heat transfer requires some work to be done on the system by the surrounding so the surroundings will not return to initial state a heat transfer process becomes less and less irreversible as the temperature difference between the two bodies approaches zero when dt is equal to zero the heat transfer is completely reversible but such a process does not occur in nature